Welcome back to the Means Report, continuing to check on all things Augusta. Let's switch our attention to Augusta Regional Airport now, where we are so happy to welcome back the executive director, Herbert Judon. He is a repeat Means Report guest, and thank you so much for coming back and for all you do for our town. I love your airport. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Always great to be here. Absolutely. First of all, it just seems like the storm has dominated all of our lives. How did Hurricane Helene impact the airport, if at all? And are you all back to normal? Yeah. Yeah, we were impacted just like everybody else. So obviously after the storm hit, we had uh, several trees that blocked the entrances and the roadways of the airport. And so we're estimating about 80 to 100 trees that were downed at the airport. Wow. Still trying to get those up as we speak. Um, power outages, again, just like everybody else experienced. So we were um, without our primary power for about a week and a half. So we were on backup generation, backup power generation. Mm -hmm. So um, we were able to still maintain the operation, but there, there are, were some things that were limited with the backup power generation. Um, for the first couple of days until that Sunday morning after the storm, uh, we had suspended flights for a period of time. So we resumed that Sunday. Um, but there were still issues. Um, there were some cancellations, some delays. Um, we had communication, obviously no internet, um, yeah. and some phone lines that were down that impacted some of our systems at the airport. So th there were various things in, that we were impacted. Um, and I guess one other thing I'll mention is obviously employees. You know, employees were dealing, you know, we, we have a, an essential service, but employees were impacted at their homes. Mm -hmm. So just trying to balance employees trying to um, deal with their own situations and even things such as getting fuel were challenges. Well, thank goodness you're on the road to recovery and really just weeks after you went through that tough time, you got great news from the federal government that $4 million is coming and it's money that you will be able to use to improve, if I'm interpreting things correctly, the security checkpoint area. Tell me how this $4 million is gonna help. Yeah, we're very happy to have the $4 million. This is part of the um, bipartisan infrastructure law and there's a subset uh, called the airport terminal program for airports it's a competitive grant um, there were only three airports in georgia that received this round of uh, atp grants oh congratulations and so the four million dollars is going to help us expand our security checkpoint right now we've got two lanes yep and so our plan is to add two additional lanes for a total of four lanes we're also going to reorient the um so right now it goes kind of like a north-south configuration. So we'll change that to a east-west configuration. Okay. Um, we'll add, I believe it's about four to 5,000 square feet of additional space. Um, wow. And we'll also add additional queuing um, area as well. I'm guessing we now get through TSA faster. We will. That's that's great news. Yeah, and, and, and it always is fast to get through yeah. Augusta, but it's not too stressful now. It's not, but I guess a couple of things that that will first first and foremost the the masters that that couple of weeks a year were really um, stretched, and this will give us more throughput and more efficiency during that challenging time, and and it also sets us up for growth. So we always want to be proactive and look at. Um, opportunities to make our airport more attractive for growth. This is on top of four million that was announced last year to improve the gate area. Is that work ongoing or is the gate improvement part of the project finished? That project was completed in the spring around May of this year. Yeah. And so we had a ribbon cutting in May. Um, so what that project did was add about 3000 square feet and it also reconfigured the gate area so we could add two new passenger boarding bridges. Those bridges are up and operational and, and the airlines are using them and it's, it's helped um, modernize and increase um, capacity and, and help, help the terminal significantly. I think something that's happened since we last met was Delta announcing it's returning its mainline service to the airport. Uh, Mr. Judon, does that mean larger airplanes? Yes. Okay, and so is that year round or masters only? It, it, it is year round. Um, yeah, we're excited about that as well. So they are flying um, Boeing 717s. They previously were flying a CRJ 900. So the 900s, the CRJ 900s were about a 75 seat aircraft. Mm -hmm. The uh, Boeing 717s, they, depending on how they're configured, you get about 111, 115 seats. Um, and what this means for the passenger, again, we more seats, you know, so we get about 120 more seats in our market a day for our customers. 
Uh, the planes are bigger, so the, the, the um, seating area is more leg room, more um, overhead baggage compartment space. Um, it's just a much better experience for our customers. Probably my last question, okay. and I just, I regret not booking you for the entire show because okay. I knew this would fly by just doing one segment with you, uh, but it's this. What would you say to the person who still does not embrace the fly there, fly home concept and says, I can save so much money by going to Atlanta or Charlotte. What would you say to address those concerns from, from travelers? Yeah, a, a couple of things. First of all, we, we constantly preach to our locals to, to check and compare because oftentimes from a price standpoint, oftentimes the price may be similar or sometimes maybe even cheaper. So, even if it's more expensive, it may just be a nominal amount. You know, maybe it may be $40 or $50. It may not be worth jumping in a car and driving a couple of hours mm -hmm. and going somewhere else. Um, also, when you use your local airport, you're, you're contributing to your local economy. You're helping your, your neighbor. And, and the third thing, we all want the airport to grow. And so the more that the more that we use the airport, the more that I have when I go out to airlines and I go out to other businesses to come to Augusta, if we can show strong demand that helps me ultimately make us grow and have more routes and more options. That's such a great answer and it's such a great point because the airport is a key part of getting business to come here and stay here. Uh, Herbert Judon, thank you to you and your team. We appreciate all of y'all for what you do at the airport and thanks for making it such a great part of our town. Thank you. Absolutely. When we come back, we are talking traffic. It's something that impacts us every day. And Augusta's traffic engineer is on the means report next.